Lee Lammy here, and this is going to be a very interesting video. It's kind of scientific, cool stuff, guys. So anyway, this video is going to feature a UV blacklight, okay? So let me show you what a blacklight does. So here I am, we're in a darkened room, so that way the blacklight will work. So mom, turn the blacklight on. Hua! Yeah, guys, so see what blacklight does? It makes my clothes glow. It makes me glow. It makes my bow glow. Can you see that? Haha, <laughs> yes, so cool, guys. Look at my clothes. Haha. <laughs> so black light, sometimes you'll see them in haunted houses and things like that. But see, it makes my wings glow. And yeah, black light is pretty darn awesome. Oh, show them the glow of the dark stuff, Mom. Down here. What? Oh, yeah. All right. See how it makes these glow? Let's turn it back on. See how it makes the glow in the dark stars glow? Black light reacts to this kind of stuff and it'll make it glow um, faster than if you were to just put regular light up to it. So see, wow, see how it just sucks up that UV black light? So it makes glow in the dark things glow really well. But another thing that it makes glow really well. Yeah, show them, mom. Another thing that it makes glow very well is this liquid right here, which is just ordinary tonic water. Now, tonic water is just a carbonated water. I've never had it before, but they say that it tastes a little bit bitter, so we're gonna go easy on it because Lammy and I like sweet things, not bitter so much. But see how the liquid's glowing? See that? And see, the light goes off. See how it's not glowing anymore? But once the black light comes on, it makes it glow. That is awesome mom I know it's awesome so anyway we're going to be doing a few different recipes with this using the tonic water and we thought this was a great thing for Halloween so let's get started <laughs> cool alrighty guys so we're back in the kitchen to show you what we're going to do with this magical tonic water there's actually um what makes it glow is inside the tonic water there is something called Q-line or q or can't, I can't pronounce it, it's Q-U-I-N-N-E, -N -N -E, and it's the chemical that's naturally found in this tonic water that um, makes it glow. So that's what it is. It's the black light reacting to that chemical inside the water. So it's very interesting, guys, and I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the tonic water with lemonade, or you could add it to your punch bowl during Halloween. That would also be a great thing if you had a Halloween party and you had a punch bowl. Add that to it, sit a black light next to it, and watch it glow. We're also going to be adding it to Jello, and I have orange Jello here because it's Halloween. So we're going to be making these two things, and then after it gets dark, we will show you um, what it looks like um, once the Jello has hardened and everything. So yeah, let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So we're going to make the Jello first since we already have the water boiling in the background here, that's probably that noise you're hearing. But it says what you should do is add two cups of boiling water and two cups of cold water. So what we're going to be doing is adding one cup of the tonic water and one cup of cool water and then the two cups. So that way this is gonna replace one of the cups of the cool water because this inside the jello will make it glow. So I've now stirred this all in and now we have to let it sit and harden in the refrigerator. All right, so I'm gonna take this to the fridge and while this hardens, we'll move on to adding the tonic water to something as simple as lemonade or your punch bowl, for instance, at a party. So I'll be right back. So you can add the tonic water to something as simple as pre-made lemonade like we got here. We just did this so it would be easy. You could add it to Kool-Aid, punch bowls, anything. This would be great to add to a punch bowl for Halloween at a Halloween party because then you sit a, next, uh, a black light next to the punch bowl and then it will glow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our lemonade. Okay, just open this up. Take the lid off. And we're going to pour some of the lemonade in here. So I'm gonna have most of it lemonade and a little bit of tonic water. They say that tonic water is a little bitter and Lammy and I don't like bitter things. So that is why I'm only gonna add a little, but they say it only takes a little to make it glow. So that's what's important. So now let's take this into the other room and check it out under the black light and see if this experiment really works. So it's not glowing as clearly as it was when it was just the water because now it's mixed with lemonade, but I would say that it is glowing. It's, it's definitely glowing because when this black light goes off, you'll see the difference. 
So yeah, I would say that this is definitely glowing. See, you can see the liquid there at the top. I would say that this is glowing. See, and then the light goes off. See that? And it's not glowing anymore. So yes, Lammy, the experiment worked. You wanna take a drink of this? All right, Lammy, you wanna take a sip of this since you know that it works? Think it'll glow inside me? Only if we could get the light down your throat. Doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? All right, let me take a sip. Let me take a sip. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that tastes mighty fine. I don't even taste the tonic water. That's good. Awesome. So guys, what we need to do now is wait for the jello to finish, and once the jello finishes hardening, and then we will see if it glows under black light. I hope this experiment works. Well, this worked, the lemonade works, so the jello should work too. All right, awesome. Anyway, guys, we'll be back in a little bit once the jello is ready. So we'll see you then. Haha, <laughs> this is so cool. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been a couple hours. The jello has set, so now we're going to put the black light on top of that and see if it worked. All right, guys, so I must say that by looking at it, this is a pumpkin shaped piece of jello, by the way. Um, I think that the lemonade and tonic water was glowing better than this one. This one is kind of glowing. It's just not glowing as much as I thought it would. Um, so anyway, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a total failure, though. It's still interesting. It's still glowing. Right, Lammy? Come take a look at it. Oh, oh, oh! It's dark. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Lammy, come here. Well, anyway, guys, it was still an interesting experiment, and I have had a lot of fun, and I think that it's so cool that tonic water glows under black light. It's so interesting. So anyway, have you guys ever done this before? Do you plan on doing it? Let me know in a comment below and be sure to subscribe. There's a few more videos coming. Oh, and also, um, make sure that if you do this experiment... Oh, Mom, turn it back on! Lammy, it's back on. Thanks. Sorry, it goes off by itself. It's creepy. It's haunted, Mom. Let me stop it. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, be sure to uh, subscribe. And then my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter links are down in the description box below if you want to share any recreations with me. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Ooh, I like black light. Ooh. Ha-ha. <laughs>